Hi there, Taco Bot aficionado. It's time to expand our intent-based design to the IVR world, a world filled with graph-based designs. To see how Taco Bot is different, we're going to take a look at two important aspects of many IVR systems, the design process and some intermediate output. First, the design process. The model for graph-based designs, namely a graph, is easily visualized with a typical flowchart. There are entry and exit nodes, decision points that require user input, processing steps, and perhaps connections to other graphs, or what we might call dialog modules. The promise of this type of design is that anyone can create an IVR system in, say, Visio or a simple web interface without some kind of technical specialization. The fulfillment of this promise is hit and miss. Intent-based designs do not seem to gain much from flowchart visualizations. A basic intent-based application like TacoBot is almost entirely made up of terminator-process-terminator combinations with no connections between each chart. This is a drawback for intent-based design, but the trade-off is in simplicity. In general, adding functionality to a graph-based application looks like this. Or worse, if the functionality calls for adjustments throughout the system, Intent-based designs, on the other hand, at least in general, allow for new functionality independent of the rest of the application. For an example of such an addition, flip back to our introduction to the Taco Bot, where we quickly augment our bot in a way that could be difficult for graph-based designs. In that video, we modify source code, something ostensibly much harder than moving shapes around in Visio. Again, though, the trade-off is the simplicity of the programming task versus the complexity of the flowchart manipulation. The balance of this trade-off will, of course, be highly dependent on the specifics of the modification in question. So what about the second way TacoBot is different? Let's look at a common intermediate stage in many IVR systems, namely the VXML file. VXML is a programming language that directs automated voice systems. Commonly, each node in the flowchart we saw earlier corresponds to a section of a VXML document. These sections contain things like what the automated system should say to the caller, some basic logical operations, and how to collect input from the user, e.g. by key press or with a grammar to interpret what the user says. A typical IVR will be made up of one or more VXML documents, each corresponding to a particular flow or graph. Just like the graphs, they can link to one another as the caller moves from, say, department to department. While we need VXML, or a competing standard, to handle voice communication, TacoBot relieves this end of the system of nearly all of its responsibility. Under an intent-based model, the voice browser becomes a glorified I.O. device. In a loop, we ask the user for input and tell the user what happened. Before we demonstrate the new TacoBot, Two quick technical clarifications. First, we're using a simplified standard called TWIML, not VXML. TWIML and its corresponding voice browser, that is, Twilio, are more well-suited to prototyping than a fully-fledged VXML-backed voice browser. Second, the I.O. order is reversed in the actual code. In other words, all of TacoBot's TWIML documents first explain what happened with the user's previous intent then request new input. Right, to take a break from this snooze fest, let's see it, and hear it, in action. On the left, our Facebook channel. On the right, our voice channel, including the twimmel that TacoBot auto-generates for each request. And note that while some of TacoBot's voice responses are text-to-speech, others are customized with human recordings. To be clear, we're showing two separate users interacting with the same TacoBot software via two channels, one typing, one talking. Hey there, I'm a TacoBot. I can help order grub for you or your team. What can I get you? I'd like a taco. Okay, I added a taco. It currently has beans. Get rid rice, of the beans. Lettuce. Okay, remove the beans from your taco. Add a burrito to my order. Okay, I added...
Ensalada de burrito. It currently has beans, rice. Add guacamole to that. Okay, added some guacamole to your burrito. What's in my cart? One. Taco, 99 cents. Two. Burrito, $1.99. Customize my taco. Okay, here's your taco. It currently has star rice, star lettuce, star tomato. Add chicken. Sorry, this is a vegan taco joint. That's great, thanks. I'm ready to check out. Your total comes to $2.98. Ready to send your order? Yes. Great. Your order should be ready in 10 minutes. Well, that's it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go pick up some Mexican food. See you next time!